It's Cinema Monday, and yes, cute conservatives are still perfect. Thanks for asking. You know, I've realized that I'm probably just perfect, and it's everybody else around me that's got issues. Lady Gaga says, if we love America, we're drinking poison or something crazy. Did you see the home edit scandal go down that involved Candace Owens? Rumor has it the Hiltons might be joining Real Housewives, and Jenna Hager talks being friends with the Obama girls, but not Ivanka Trump. I'm Alex Clark, and this is Poplitics. It's getting hard for me to hear stories about Lady Gaga anymore without wanting to Lady Gag Gag. She told Billboard that white supremacy is a fundamental part of the United States and that you drink the poison the moment that you're born on American soil. Did IQs just drop sharply while I was away? Gaga also says that she's been working hard to undo the white supremacist ingrained in her from birth. You must unlearn what you have learned. It's easy to label everything as white supremacist when you've totally redefined what white supremacy even means. I mean, even saying that you believe in things like objectivity, reason, and science is considered racist to these people. The rules change so often we can't even keep up. Uh, is it racist if I say Africa? Oh, and BTWs, if we were a fundamentally racist country like she says, Barack Obama wouldn't have been elected twice in a country that is 63% white people. Not here for this BS. Lady, go, go somewhere else, please. Thanks. Bye. It makes no sense. Have you been watching the home edit on Netflix at all? Right before the show came out, I talked about how excited I was for it because I followed them on Instagram for years. Well, guess what? They had a cute conservative moment on one of their episodes. Guys, this is this is happening. A donut scarf is a very precise way to fold a scarf in which you I have to like demonstrate with my hands. Okay, so you like take the end of the scarf and you wrap it and then you're wrapping it around your hand at the same time and then you pull it through and at the end you just have this nice little bun. It's, it's like a little hot cross bun. It's little so cinnamon roll. cute and they're all just happily sitting in a basket so together. It is really more of a cinnamon roll it is. scarf than a donut. You might need to rebrand it. It's actually not a donut because there's no hole. No, it's a cin it's a cinnamon bun. Technically there's a hole, but it's a just wait. It's it's going to be worth it. Cinnamon roll scarf organizing just in time for fall, which we get basically none of in Phoenix where I live. So, I'm living vicariously through you cinnamon rolls. And if you're new here and you don't get the whole cinnamon roll thing because it's something I get asked a lot, it's what I call people that I want to eat. I mean people that I think are precious. Now come down so I can eat you. Or us so I can add you. It's a term of endearment. Now you know, and if you know, you know. Cinnamon. Anyways, the home edit had a not so cinnamon roll situation on Instagram a couple of days ago. They just came out with this new book and they were posting that the book is number three on Amazon. And the picture that they posted had the book right next to a anti-Trump book and then Candace Owens' book. They used text to cover up Candace's book. Yeah, why? Well, what are you afraid of? Both of the hosts of the show are hardcore leftists and everyone knows that, so it was pretty obvious what they were doing. And after people started calling them out for it in the comments, they deleted it. Hey, at least a Marxist revolution with those two is gonna be clean, organized, and color-coded. <laughs> Fun fact, I've never watched a Real Housewives show because there are way too many seasons and it overwhelms me because I feel like it's gonna take so long to understand what's going on and then learn everyone's backstories. Hold on, check me, boo. <laughs> However, this is news that I think all of us will be excited about even if you're like me and you haven't ever watched. So I'm just trying to stay calm. Just trying to be calm, that's, that's all. Kathy freaking Hilton, AKA the mother of our queen, Paris, is in talks to join Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. That's hot. When I tell you my life flashed before my eyes, I mean, I could just see what the future could look like and it's so beautiful. The drama, unmatched. Hey, you know what? We might get some therapy sessions with her in Paris hashing it out about her organizing two men to kidnap her in the middle of the night and take her to that abusive boarding school. Hey, yes, you you do do it. It. Yes, no, I do my best. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Stop, 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 stop. The real conservatives of politics, yes, there is a subgroup for that and they have the best graphic ever. Please weigh in and tell us in the comments if this would be a disaster in the best way or the worst way. Oh my, oh my God, okay, this is unreal. This looks exactly like my backyard. I sit there on my knees and I make like mud pies. I just, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> I just gotta go. Speaking of Bravo, Jenna Bush Hager went on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen and got candid about her bond with Chelsea Clinton and the Obama girls, saying that they reach out to each other all the time. You know what? I think we're gonna be friends. 
She said, Chelsea and I see each other around, well, we used to, now I don't see anybody, but we used to see each other around New York City, and I reach out to the Obama girls and vice versa. My fellow Americans, there is Ebola in America, which means we are screwed. Jenna talked about how it's a sisterhood between them since hardly anyone knows what it's like to be a president's daughter. Speaking of president's daughters, we need to pay our respects to the OG. 90s kids will know. Yeah. Now, Duncan, we must work on your ensemble. Jenna used to be really close with Ivanka Trump, but said that they had a falling out in 2016 and haven't talked since. It's interesting to me that Jenna is 38 years old and is somehow closer with the Obama girls, who are 19 and 22, and not Ivanka, who is the exact same age as her. Okay, no hard feelings, but I hate you. Not joking. Bye. You can DM us anytime, ask me anything, and then on Mondays, I answer some of your questions. It's a little pop quiz, so let's do it. Piper wants to know, how do you defend your political stance as a conservative to your extremely liberal parents without being disrespectful? I would say that you really need to understand why you're a conservative, what core values of being a conservative matter to you, and be able to explain that to them. Otherwise, live and let live. If they're totally polar opposites than you and just wanna argue, I would try to avoid political conversations or just listen when they talk and then change the subject so it doesn't turn into a fight. Into that conversation. Uh, anybody like volcanoes? Keely wants to know if I went to college. So so I went to a semester of college and then I started working full time in radio so I dropped out. I didn't want to go into student loan debt to get a degree for a job that I already had and I was good at what I was doing and I knew that I naturally had what it takes to be successful in that industry. By the way, Charlie Kirk didn't go to college either. And this is kind of controversial in some circles but I don't think that you need college to be successful for a lot of careers. Especially with Corona, I highly recommend taking a gap year or pausing school. See if you might be able to start working now and work your way up in a field that you're interested in and save Save the money and spare yourself from the indoctrination. You think you're so smart because you're dumb book learning, Julian. Well, you're not that smart. Tiffany wants to know what big government means. Big government is the tendency for the government to expand itself for the sake of more power, control, and money. It's when the government gets so expansive that they have the ability to be involved in almost every aspect of your life. Your education, housing, healthcare, speech, religion, all the things. The trade for all of this is that the more the government is involved, the more you have to sacrifice your freedoms. And our founding fathers knew that keeping the government as small as possible was what was best for the American people. Thomas Jefferson said that government is best which governs least because its people discipline themselves. There's a reason why at Turning Point USA we say big government sucks. No more big government. If you're back after taking a little pop politics break, it's been a while, or you're new here, catch up on some of the recent episodes that you missed on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Subscribe, leave us a five-star review. And before you go, like this episode. Tell me below if you're watching the home edit and what you think about Jenna Bush Hager, and share this episode with one friend who's a Disney Channel original movie junkie. We're back tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific. It's pop culture without the propaganda every single day. I'm Alex Clark, and this is Pop Click below to watch yesterday's episode. Please subscribe, thumbs up, share this video, and ring the bell for notifications so you never miss the conservative. And make sure you're following this show at Poplitics on Instagram for even more conservative content.